Hello everyone, back with me again there is Wang and today I want to compare Sonic Mighty 4K to Anycubic Mono X. But first let us look at Mono X build plate. There is no stopper behind and for me it is quite uncomfortable to hold. But at least none of this affect the print result. And for Sonic Mighty 4K build plate there is a stopper so it sits firmly. And for me this is very comfortable to hold. Now let us look at the resin tank. Mono X resin tank you will get from the factory. It is made from aluminum, uh, but it is heavy at the same time. And for Mighty 4K resin tank, it is made from plastic, but I like the lightweight aspect. So quite a mixed opinion here. Now let us check the print result comparing Mono X and Mighty 4K. But before that, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share. Thank you. And here I have the print result from both printer. On the left is Mono X, and on the right side is from Mighty 4K. First, we are going to look at the stability torture test, and this is facing Y axis. I could see some shifting line on Mono X. Now we are going to look at the X axis. Also some noticeable shifting lines on Mono X. Okay, this is quite uh, surprising for me because if you look at the guide block, Mono X has a larger guide block if you compare to Mighty 4K guide block. And for any cubic stability torture test, I could notice that that the shift line happened at the same height on both X and Y axis. So before I shoot this video, I try to take apart the backlash nut from both printer and I try to manually slide up and down the build arm and I can feel that Mono X arm is kinda stuck and as for comparison, Mighty 4K arm is uh, smoothly moving up and down so I guess after this video I might need to maybe fine tuning my Z axis on Mono X again or probably change to high V high sorry I mean high wind guide block. Uh, both printer are lubricated using a super loop for the Z axis. Now let's take a look at the anti-aliasing test. So for the anti-aliasing test on Mighty 4K, you guys could check the details on my previous video that in-depth test for Sonic Mighty 4K and in this video, I want to focus more about Mono X anti-aliasing. So my printer is on uh, an official firmware which is 3.5.4. Uh, I could notice a slight difference in the anti-aliasing. But on previous firmware, 3.4.7 and 3.4.8, anti-aliasing doesn't work at all for me. And this has been an ongoing debate between users. Some claim anti-aliasing works, some claim it doesn't work. And also some said that it only works if your exposure is above 3 seconds. So I try to test all the theory and using different slicer using Cheetobok and Lychee and I only pick three of the most noticeable difference this is anti-aliasing off this is anti-aliasing 8 exposure 1.6 second and this is anti-aliasing 8 exposure 3.2 second now let's check the close-up video I guess I gotta pause my video. <laughs> there is a bow seller outside my door. <laughs> now for the close-up, on the left is Mono X and on the right is Mighty 4K. 
uh, I could clearly tell that both have the same quality now we shall see the anti-aliasing on Mono X with 1.6 second exposure comparing to the no anti-aliasing Uh, you could, you can see that the edge of the voxel here is quite blur. So I guess the the unofficial firmware uh, start to have a working anti-aliasing. Now let's check the back. Yes, a much better anti-aliasing work on firmware 3.5.4. Now let's compare the 1.6 second to 3.2 second exposure. So pretty much the same result. The edge of the voxel is blurred now. Not as sharp as the no anti-aliasing one. Now let's compare uh, Mono X with anti-aliasing and Mighty 4K with anti-aliasing on. Uh, clear, clearly no fox line at all on Mighty 4K and yeah, no fox line at all on Mighty 4K. Now we are going to look at the print result for minis on both printer. So to keep things fair, I using the same resin for both printer and I set the output UV power for uh, Mono X. Uh, I check with light meter so it will have the same uh, UV power output with frozen Mighty 4K printer. Now let's get to the close up. And after checking the re calibrating the resin exposure, uh, Mono X end up with 1.4 second exposure, and Mighty 4K is using 1.6 second exposure. But I could see that the details, especially over here, uh, it's it's quite soft compared to Mighty 4K uh, details. And also on the face now let's look at the voxel line up close both are no anti-aliasing okay uh, look at the skull here the detail is more pronounced on my t4k compared to my mono x The sword. Uh, yes, clearly Mighty 4K has a more pronounced detail, but somehow on the hair here, you could see the hairline details on Mono X, but no hairline detail here in Mighty 4K. And the resolution for Mono X is 50 micron for the X-Y resolution. And on my T4K, it is 52 microns. And now this is the print that is using anti-aliasing. And on Mono X, somehow the details is very soft and almost gone here compared to my T4K with anti-aliasing on. Both are using anti-aliasing. But uh, as you guys can see, uh, anti-aliasing barely works for Mono X. I hope a future firmware update could better fix anti-aliasing problem with Mono X. The sword. Now let's check the shield. And the top stepping here.
yeah I could see a better uh, result for the for this new firmware on Mono X let's compare back uh, Mono X with the anti-aliasing of print well the stepping lines around the neck is gone without anti-aliasing you could still see the stepping around the neck here So because uh, I'm quite curious, uh, I, I assume that Mono X has a stronger UV power. So I tried to print another uh, minis on my T4K, but this time I raised the exposure into 2.2 seconds. But somehow the details on my T4K is still more pronounced than on Mono X over here around the shield the details on the skull here is gone on my T4K at 2.2 second exposure still visible on Mono X Now look at the face, the hairline, Mono X has a better hairline details compared to Mighty 4K at 2.2 seconds. And if we look at the minis in general, uh, this I have here is both without anti-aliasing. Uh, both are printed using the same resin, but somehow on Mono X, it seems has a lighter color compared to Mighty 4K. And both are on the same resin. And also as my previous video, with anti-aliasing, it seems shinier uh, because anti-aliasing on Mono X is, is not optimal yet. It seems quite dull. So my final conclusion is for stability torture tests, I assume that I own any cubic Mono X longer compared to my T4K. It could be that my guide block is starting to wearing out. And if you own a new Anycubic Mono X and you want to print all these tests, I will provide link to download the models. And for the anti-aliasing, obviously my T4K has a very working anti-aliasing compared to Mono X. And I hope in future update, Mono X will have a better working anti-aliasing. So, which one is the best printer for you? i let you be the judge. I guess that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share if you want. Thank you very much.